Greetings from Seattle. Um, I thought I'd do a very quick and unscripted one-year owner's review of my Honda NC750X. Um, I literally just got back from a road trip, so I was inspired to uh, do a quick review and also it'll give me a chance to talk about how I strapped up my luggage, what I use for luggage on a small road trip. Um, I think that a lot of people that do video reviews of their bikes, it's usually a brand new bike and they're in love with it, it's a honeymoon phase, but I think uh, it's useful to see a owner's review after one year, um, but I have to say it's going to be boring, uh, spoiler alert, I love the bike just as much as I did when I first bought it. Um, you can see I have done quite a few mods and accessories to it and I've got previous videos where you can look um, at all of those and uh, get the details there. Um, so I'm not really going to go over that. Um, but let's see the bike itself. Um, I use it as a workhorse, daily commuter and more for longer road trips or if I am uh, needing to move storage or if I'm doing grocery shopping um, because this is the bike where I've got storage obviously inside the bike and then the top box here um, connected with the Honda OEM rear rack uh, and these are the so yeah, before I talk about the luggage, the bike is fantastic. Um, 750cc, uh, more than enough power, it is zippy, um, uh, overtakes on the highway, 70, 80, 90 plus miles per hour, no problem, uphill. This is fully loaded, um, also with a tall Madstad windshield. and. Passing power is absolutely no problem. Um, it's a fantastic bike. I think the only one complaint I have, the only gripe I have, is that there is no cruise control for longer trips. Um, it's not a deal breaker, but that's the one thing which I think would add um, quality of life enhancement to the bike. Apart from that, suspension is fantastic. I'm just under 200 pounds. Um, engine is great. Brakes are good as well. Not as good as my Yamaha XSR 900, but certainly um, uh, more than good enough for me to feel comfortable, safe, and, uh, and, and also you, you can get pretty aggressive with this bike as well. Um, okay, so that's it for the bike itself. Um, in terms of storage, this is how I rigged up quite a lot of gear that I took with me on this trip. There are all sorts of motorcycle specific luggage options that you can get. They can get a little pricey. Um, so I opted to go for um, regular luggage. These are both bags from REI Co-op. The blue one on the bottom is the Road Tripper, which is 140 liters. So massive carrying capacity. It's $80 not waterproof so you don't want to use this if you think you're going to be under rain for extended periods of time um, the one on top is the black one is the rei big haul which is 120 liters so that's certainly big as well this one's got much more durable um, materials um, it's not considered a uh, waterproof bag it's not a dry bag but it is water resistant I would say um, most of the trips that I would do I would just be packing this black one the blue one was really just for this trip um, to haul a lot of gear um, now each bag is attached on the left and the right to the rear rack and also has a strap through the middle as well um, which is attached to the rear rack so each bag has three points of attachment left right and center and then i've got one um, strap which goes around both bags together and goes underneath the rear rack so they are all compressed tightly against the frame and then compressed against each other. Um, and this was rock solid. These are both big bags. They obviously flare out the sides, but there was no problem on the highway. 60, 70, 75 miles per hour. Um, rock solid, stable. And uh, yeah, so no complaints there. And then I've got the GV top box which is I think is a 40 liter container so altogether all three units of storage is 
uh, 300 liters. Um, and then of course the Honda NC750X is famous for its internal storage compartment. Um, and there is a really cool feature which I noticed. Let me take this stuff out, some shopping. If you have an item which is particularly heavy, like this kettlebell, 16 pound, no, 13 pound kettlebell, which I needed to um, do physical therapy with for my knee injury, um, I would not want to store this in a bag or in a top box way up here. It's going to throw off the balance. Um, the center of gravity is going to be much higher. Obviously these bags are heavy, but it's a very distributed weight. If you've got a concentrated weight like this, this internal storage is amazing because it keeps that weight centered and low in the bike. So it really didn't affect my turning, uh, my balance, stability or anything. So that's something I didn't realize that internal storage compartment could be so good for. Um, so yeah, bonus points there. Um, I think that's about it. Um, but yeah, I love the bike. It's fantastic. Um, another thing to note is I think with all of this weight, it's probably about close to 200 pounds. I'm about 200 pounds. And with this extra tall windshield, I was still getting between 58 and 65 miles per gallon. And that's traveling on the highway, highway speeds. Um, so I think that's pretty fantastic. Uh, anyway, hopefully this video is helpful. I love this bike. I can absolutely recommend it. Check out my other videos for the mods and accessories I put onto it. Um, and uh, have a great day. Ride safe. Bye.